it is not yeah hello my dear kids <clears throat> very good evening this is sundar abindranathan here hey guys welcome to the session so it's going to be you know it where a session where we are going to deal with uh, the applications of passive voice i'll speak more about it uh, the moment we start we'll just allow a minute for more guys to jump in okay so right <clears throat> Am I audible to all of you? Visible and audible? What's happening? Hey guys. I hope I am pretty uh, clearly audible for all of you, right? Am I? Okay, awesome. Hello, Anugraha. Hi, Sanjini. Welcome, guys. All of you, welcome to the session. So let us move in uh, a few minutes, a few few seconds. In fact, hi, Savita. Deepak Patak. Deepa Patak. Hi, Danvin. Hi, Chinmayi. Welcome to Vedantu Young Wonders. Okay. All right. So guys, let's slowly move on by the time others will also join us, okay? Right. Right guys, in case you are new to Vedantu Young Wonders, this channel is for 6th, 7th and 8th grades. Uh we handle both CBSE and ICSE. CBSC happens on sessions happen on all days of the week every day you will have sessions for all three grades 6th 7th and 8th what are the subjects we cover math science social as well as english grammar and on the other side non academically all right we have a spell bee contest happening on sundays we have a coding series happening on mondays and fridays and we also have a how does it work a series explaining the functioning of different equipments happening on wednesdays This is about the channel guys quite a fascinating channel i guarantee that you guys are going to have a lot of you know fun and learning so don't forget to subscribe to the channel okay lovely so now in case there are you know a few of you who are thinking about my god i have a lot of doubts i want some notes i want regular tests and assignments so that i can get into the way of a topper becoming a topper right then we have a uh, See if these are your problems getting your doubts solved getting notes test assignments preparing for competitive exams you want to learn when you want to and you want to learn with the language of your choice guys trust trust us and uh, you know just believe that your problems are solved because vedantu has brought in a wonderful subscription where you get all those challenges uh, handled and you also get a lot of bonuses live sessions unlimited micro courses progress reports periodical more importantly someone to watch your back and give you very very uh, clear concrete customized inputs on how what are all your strengths weaknesses and how you should uh, you know take it forward with respect to you becoming uh, or you know you excelling in your studies so what is this guys what should you do just visit the link in the description to avail the subscription and yes since you are a part of vedantu young wonders guys you have you can use this coupon code to get a very very excellent discount srpro is the coupon code lovely so what should you do go to that link in the description and choose your grade click on get subscription to choose how many months subscription you would want to take type under the coupon code give this srpro and that's it you will be connected with the best master teachers of vedantu and they will be teaching in sync with your curriculum clear awesome so i think today we have very very less number of guys just give me a minute guys all right yes i got it thank you savita so guys let's move into passive voice 
Applications of passive voice. Okay, can anyone tell me why is passive voice important? Or probably I should rephrase my question. What are all the areas where passive voice has to be applied? Let me see, you know, how. what's your thought process? How you guys are thinking? Yeah? Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Eager to, you know, look at your responses, guys. Come on. Prajeev Purston. Come on, beta. I'm, I'm looking at everyone's chats, okay? I don't ignore anyone. Anupama is saying, sir, notice writing. Tanvi, right? Hmm, Tanvi. Good, Tanvi. Good, good point. Very nice. Very nice. Lovely. Hi, Devanshu. Sentences. Sentences means what, Chinmay? Guys, I'll tell you something. See, there are two things, right? There is someone performing an action on something. That someone, all right, is the subject, action is the verb, and something is the object. Now, there are different situations where you want to give preference to the object, not the subject. Right? Okay. I'll give you an example. This car what was bought by Ambani. Or Mukesh Ambani. I'm just giving an example. In this case, where is the focus? Where is the preference? Is it on a car or is it on Mukesh Ambani? Tell me, tell me, come on. This car was bought by Mukesh Ambani. So where is the where is the emphasis laid? Is it on the car or is it on Mukesh Ambani? Quick, 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 quick. Exactly. Guys, no one will focus on the car. They will focus on who bought it. Because the car is getting that importance because of that person who bought it. Okay. So, in these cases, you apply the act passive voice. Right. So, in this in this case, I'll, I'll give you an example. All right. On the other end. Uh, let's look at a few more examples here. Passive voice is to use show interest in the person or object. So your focus will be more on the object which is you know on which some action is taken. I repeat, passive voice is something where the emphasis or the focus is laid on the object where some action is taken. Right. So here Mukesh Ambani bought this car. This car was bought by Mukesh Ambani. Right? So here, car is getting, in this passive voice, car is getting the complete uh, emphasis. Right? So the moment I say Mukesh Ambani bought this car, Mukesh Ambani is getting the emphasis in an active voice. In passive voice, what we are doing is, we are completely shifting the focus to the object. Everyone understanding how passive voice, you know, uh, uh, what is the application of passive voice? Whenever you want to focus on the object, you start using passive voice. And there are certain rule sets to it. I'm going to explain them. There are four. We will make it very crisp. Is everyone clear? If you want to focus on the object, then start using passive voice. Give me a yo guys, yo, if you're clear with this. Isha Padaria. Okay. I threw the book or I threw the bottle. The bottle was thrown by me. So I threw the bottle when I say that. What am I trying to say? 
it is me you know what it is me who threw the bottle so my focus is on the subject which is me as a person but instead i want to say you know what the bottle was thrown by him or thrown by me so the focus is on the bottle whenever you want to focus on the object please use passive voice i hope you are clear now okay so now the rule says today let's understand the scenarios where generally we tend to use passive voice all right there are four scenarios let's understand them number 1 yes all right the subject becomes very less important i repeat the subject becomes very less important look at the example the car has been restored so if we have to convert this into active voice someone restored the car so where the focus is on someone now when it is in passive voice the agent that is the subject is very less important or not important at all the car has been restored here so we never speak about the subject he is not even in the picture at all all right so similarly a book has been written that means what a book has been written so by that we are not speaking about who wrote it at all subject is not even in the picture in a passive voice you want to lay complete focus on the object use passive voice a book has been written by whom we don't know someone wrote this book all right but i am not i am completely ignoring that someone my focus is all the time on the object which is the book my dear kids i hope you are getting it all of you yes so whenever you want to lay a lot of emphasis on the object please use passive voice savita that's lovely menti will be started by sundar will start menti sundar will start menti savita is saying menti will be start, started by sundar wow awesome so menti is getting a lot of emphasis here which is the object beautiful savita keep it up well done devil ninja gamer your question should be does the verb change is will not come all right does the verb change in passive voice it no doesn't verb will not change verb will remain the same you can't change the verb right verb and tense generally tends to remain the same guys in passive voice also now rule number 1 wherever the subject is very less important use passive voice now rule number 2 sometimes you don't even bring the subject at all similar similar to the first one you know what my mobile was stolen by uh, stolen last month who stole it what happened nothing we are not saying i am just telling my mobile was stolen last month the subject is unknown whenever you guys i want you to remember these rule sets very clear carefully because now you might not realize in your day to day conversation suddenly you will remember sir told whenever subject is not there i have to apply passive voice and you will start acting accordingly and devising or changing your communication accordingly so tom's bike has been stolen by whom subject i don't know tom's bike has been stolen right whenever the agent is unknown use passive voice the business center has been bombed by whom we don't know are you getting it so whenever the subject is less important or whenever the subject is not known please use passive voice my dear kids if you are clear till this give me a yo i want to understand if you guys are also along you know coming along with me and understanding this this class is being conducted by sundar sir yes deepa you are right sundar sir is conducting the class class you know sundar sir doesn't matter this class is being conducted by sundar sir coding class is conducted by sundar sir english class is being conducted by sundar right if you want to lay emphasis on the object like this use passive voice so two rules everyone clear give me a yo guys let me see padyala i hope you are you are comfortable with voices right active as well as what is active what is passive first 
in case because the this are those are the fundamentals in case you have some issues with the fundamentals my request is i want you to watch that video first that is when you will understand how to apply passive voice okay sanju i did not understand the statement clearly she is the greatest in what because the center statement is not complete she is the greatest in what you have to ensure that you may have a complete statement for us to convert active into passive or passive into active getting it rule number 3 the agent is very clear that is the subject is very clear right so here it's obvious it's a fact something is done and something is very very clear the building was constructed it is done i am very very clear about it so there is no change no two thoughts about it so whenever the subject is very clear also you still use passive voice construction is happening all right no it is not the case right it is done it's very very obvious it is completed when something is complete i repeat guys the third rule is when an action is done it is very obvious that the action is completed say so take the first example the thief was arrested last week he is already arrested so it is very obvious it has already been done whenever an action is perfectly complete and we are very well we very well know about it you can use or uh, apply passive voice to it the patient was operated yesterday operation is over everyone knows it all right so the patient was operated yesterday so whenever the third rule is whenever uh, you know the action is very obvious and it is completed you can feel free to apply passive voice again savita you become very playful now menti code was given to students students got the menti code menti code was given to the students lovely very nice so rule number 4 guys you want to expand on a topic i repeat you have a topic and you want to keep expanding it you know making it more detailed and elaborate for those case in those cases passive voice will be very useful to elaborate on a topic to make it more detailed to expand on a topic simple words to develop a topic let's give an ex let me give an example so look here uh, godfather is a classical movie all is a passive right it was directed by francis ford godfather is a classical movie francis ford directed it bang doesn't make right it is not giving scope for me to write further godfather is a classical movie it was directed by francis ford and blah 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 i can keep saying something taj mahal is a beautiful monument it was built by shah jahan and i can say something all right instead taj mahal is a beautiful monument shah jahan built it that means i'm trying to close it are you understanding what i'm saying the alchemist is a gripping novel paul coelho wrote it bang you closing it instead the alchemist is a gripping novel uh, it was written by paul coelho and more about paul coelho whatever you want to expand you can expand the fourth rule is you know fourth class is if you want to develop a topic expand on a topic use a passive voice yes sanjay that uh, you know we prohibit smoking smoking is prohibited there what happens is third rule applies it's obvious very clear that it is pro prohibited okay so guys is a the thief has been caught by the police 
So which rule applies? Third rule applies. An action is completed already. All right. So when the subject is obvious, when the message is obvious, the action is obvious, you use passive voice. Guys, are you clear with all the four rules? We will jump into Menti if you're clear. But if you're not clear, ask me the questions. <laughs> yeah, Isha Padaria. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Exactly. Geetanjali is a great book. It was written by Rabindranath Tagore and it was written in the year and it was, you can keep expanding. Instead, you say Geetanjali is a great book. Uh, read, you know, uh, Rabindranath Tagore wrote it. You're trying to close on it. You're not trying or giving scope for the topic to be expanded. That's the point. Hey guys, I hope everyone is clear with this. Lovely. So, all right. Typically, subject, verb, object, active voice, object on which, you know, the, you know, uh, where the action, object which is being acted upon by the subject is passive voice. So, typically, the, this session is all about where and all can I, ex, you know, apply passive voice. Typically, you apply passive voice when the subject is very less important. Number one, when the subject is unknown. Number two, when the action is very obvious. Number three, and number four, if you want to expand on a topic. These are the four scenarios under which application of passive voice makes that entire, uh, what do you say, communication, written or verbal, very, very effective. My dear kids, I hope all of you are clear. Give me a yo, I am going to jump into a mentee. Snape breathe. Thank you. I hope you are clear now. Okay, if you are clear, I think it's time we should move towards a mentee, guys. Awesome. So guys, here we go. New people, whoever is new, let me give you uh, a quick uh, precursor to this. You have to open, don't close YouTube, open another browser window and go to the website www.menti, M-E-N-T-I, menti.com. I repeat www.menti.com, M-E-N-T-I. And once you go there, it's going to ask you for a code, a mentee code. It's a quiz code. I'll tell you the code for today's mentee quiz. Be ready. The code for today's mentee quiz is double one double three six four seven. Double one double three six four seven. Vivyanshu, the red card was given. Someone gave the red card. So here, the subject is unknown. So in those cases, again, passive voice have to be written. What you wrote is perfectly correct. So guys, Thirty seconds more. I am going to start the quest. First question will be on your screens now. In thirty seconds time. Yeah, you have been seen. Someone is seeing you. Yeah, you getting it? So just because it is someone, we don't know who it is. 
the subject is unknown clear so in these cases always use passive voice interesting isn't it lovely so guys first question on your screens now there are eight questions by the way change the voice the boy laughed at the beggar the boy laughed at the beggar the beggar was laughed by the boy the beggar was being laughed by the boy the beggar was being laughed at by the boy the beggar was laughed at by the boy come on come on come on i want to be on your toes time is up see hmm see the boy laughed at the beggar the beggar was laughed at by the boy only 22 of you got this right surprising dripto veni sanju suhani harshil top 5 rishikesh prishta nilotri jaival and anushka 6 7 8 9 10 10 my dear kids question number 2 we got to go fast because eight questions are there that's going to be a long lengthy quiz right why do you tell a lie convert it why do you tell a lie why a lie told by you why is a lie be told by you why is a lie told by you why is a lie being told you why why do you tell a lie why is a lie told by you simple very simple so two questions after the second question dripto suhani mm hmm no there is a change prista is at number 2 suhani 3 ak saumya top 5 navraj anshika nilotri frank and divya 6 7 8 9 10 guys on to question number 3 five more to go you will praise her very much yeah you will praise her very much she will praised very much by you she will be praised very much by you she will being praised very much by you she will been praised very much by you option b not bad you will praise her very much she will be praised very much by you 117 so there are times when people get confused at how to convert her into the other voice is it not dripto suhani anshika navraj divya top 5 nilotri stingilicious star kal and jagruti 6 7 8 9 10 Question number four on your screens now. I take exercise daily. Exercise are taken daily by me. Exercise is taken daily by me. Exercise is being taken daily by me. Exercise is being taken daily by me. good guys good guys you cannot say exercise r because it's only one exercise which is mentioned if you say i i do exercises daily that means it's plural exercises are all right done by me daily so there you can put r but here it is only exercise so the right answer is exercise is taken daily by me 117 now dripto Wow, huge difference. Suhani at number two, Divya three, Rai Star, Kal top five, Jagruti, Radhika, Mr. Heartless, Danvin and Tanisha. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Question five, three more to go, guys. Come on. 
she will invite me i shall be invited by her i will be invited by her i shall being invited by her i will be invited by her which one do you think is right very simple actually though it looks like complicated right pretty simple actually she will invite me oh no okay i shall be invited by her the context is very important there good guys good everyone in the bleeder board you guys don't miss very nice hello riya dripto suhani jagruti mr heartless and dipanshu top 5 <clears throat> armin adarsh sanju sundar and pika 6 7 8 9 10 question 6 two more to go did you visit a zoo was a zoo being visited by you was a zoo be visited by you was a zoo been visited by you was a zoo visited by you everything you guys chose here did you visit a zoo was a zoo visited by you simple why are you adding being been everything don't change the tense that way did you visit all right you are trying to put it in the past tense same just apply it in the passive was a zoo visited past tense again by you hmm so six questions are done two more to go looks like dripto is still set all good followed by suhani dipanshu sanju kritika abhinav satvika jagruti rai star and anshika 6 7 8 9 10 just one more to go after this question 7 guys he has shown good performance he has shown good performance good performance has shown by him good performance has been shown by him good performance had been shown by him good performance has been shown by him b the last one which is the right one not bad he has shown good performance good performance has been showed by him there were multiple times good performance has been showed by him so now guys dripto has taken a huge huge lead now dripto suhani dipanshu abhinav jagruti top 5 rice star mr heartless anshik ermin and veronica 6 7 8 9 10 my dear kids final question of this session here we go be ready let us see who's going to win the school has announced the result the result has announced by the school has been announced by the school has be announced by the school has being announced by the school simple simple conversion is just a proper flip with the verb properly being shifted all right good most of you got it right i'm happy about it that's like my boys and girls who is going to win dripto yes but dipanshu you know what 996 points awesome dripto is winning the quest today guys wow dripto many congratulations beta guys everyone in the leaderboard apart from him suhani dipanshu ray star mr heartless ermin nanshika veronica every one of you great job done my congratulations to all of you and in case guys all right by the way just one reminder to avail the discount link is in there in the description srpro okay right we are there on telegram guys you have to open your mobile browser type t.me/vedantujunior okay to access the telegram group for regular updates guys i hope you like the session now you know what all the different scenarios under which you can apply passive voice right 
okay hit the like button if you like the session and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys thank you so much i'll meet you tomorrow until then this is myself sundar rabindranathan signing off guys bye bye take care stay safe